Yo, so this is the grain cart. This is what most of the horses like to see. It's not really grain though, sorry. It's in a sense of like wheat or corn or anything like that. These are actually extruded pellets and basically all the mainstay horses get are, can't see it because they're all set up and ready to go. Yeah, I like for it. Each individual horsey. So, um, but if you look down in there, you can see how it's extruded. And, which means it gets shoved through a little form to give it that look like it is, the pelleted look. But like I was saying, generally speaking, our horses don't get grain. They get this extruded pellet. And what it has is all the vitamins and minerals that they all need for, for all, for, la, 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 that they all need. So um, like this is what Rusty gets right here. That's Rusty's house. See? Rusty. And it used to say rusty right here, but it rubbed off. Um, but like, there's Joy's, and then everybody's friend Casa. <laughs> so, so horses are have their own personalities and different quirks about themselves, different things, they, behaviors they are. Our friend Chip. Likes his food of all the horses in the exact, well, as close to the middle of the stall as possible. If I put it somewhere else, he will move it till he gets it to the middle. That's our friend Chip. <laughs> now, Bo gets two medicines every day. He gets one, he gets a, two different kinds of medicine. One's for, is an anti-inflammatory. The other one's to help out his pituitary system which is his hormone system, which helps control him, his body, whether it gains weight, loses weight, whether he sheds his coat out like he's supposed to, or things of that nature, helps his body function. So. Because Bo is currently the oldest, well, the longest term horse on the farm. He's not the oldest horse on the farm. But he is the longest termed horse on the farm. Who's the oldest? I'm not exactly sure. It may very well be Miss Kitty. <laughs> or Chica. That's why we have those fancy signs on there. It tells you when they were born. But I forgot my reading glasses at home, so I can't be reading those today. What are we doing, Mickey? Alright, I'm going to start feeding the little animals. So as you can see, they're already really excited. Come in here. I'm going to close the gate, or you can close the gate. And then once that's closed, I'm going to start with, before I give hay, I'm going to start giving them their grain. Which is art explained is not really grain, it's just kind of what they get in the morning, their supplements and stuff they get in the morning, which are kind of like vitamins. So I've got my three buckets on top for the little horses, and then the two for Maya and Toto. Okay. I'm gonna do my best to not let them come in and eat my wheelbarrow of hay here. Hi guys! <laughs> Cool is the little horses, which Willard's going to demonstrate, get themselves all set up. <laughs> and I'm going to close these just while they eat the bee because um, I don't want the other animals to eat it. Maya, watch out, that's you too. No, this is not for you. going to get something and I'm also 
also going to put them in one of the sheds. Come on, guys. to do the fun part. This is Jerry. He gets a pill in the morning to help with his joints. And I'm going to feed him this separately because not all the goats get it. Not all the goats who sheep get it. And at the same time, I'm going to try and kind of block him <laughs> so the goats don't get it. <laughs> all right. So now you get to see everybody get their breakfast. brother Polly, Jerry, and his brother Ben, hmm? and hey Ollie. Guys. And of course the pile I put down the last is the best pile, so. And then you get to see all the little horses, and Maya and Toto come out. So here we go. 